Hi again, everybody. In this next video regarding Transaction Capital's recent investment into We Buy Cars, myself, David Hurwitz, the CEO of Transaction Capital, and Farn van der Valt, the CEO, co-founder, and material shareholder in We Buy Cars, will talk a little bit about the used car market in South Africa, which is extremely resilient, the market context internationally and some of our international global peers, and then some of We Buy Cars' competitive advantages. This slide really provides some context regarding the used vehicle market. The used vehicle industry is resilient, defensive, and growing despite South Africa's economic climate. In South Africa, there are, are about 10.8 million vehicles. 38% of the population uses private vehicles, with vehicle ownership being an aspiration rooted in South African culture. New vehicle sales are driven by the economic environment, by prices, which are linked to exchange rates, and by the bank's appetite for funding. New vehicle sales trends see a shift from new vehicles to used vehicles, with the average age of ownership extending. As a result, the vehicle park has been growing by more than 5% over the last 10 years, despite new vehicle sales reducing year on year. This year, in 2020, we expect only about 372,000 new cars to enter the car park. And on average, over the last few years, we've seen about 350,000 cars being written off every year. So even in a terrible year, uh, this market is still showing growth with 372 exceeding 350,000. In an average year, we normally see about 500,000 new vehicle sales, of which about 46% are financed. However, we see about 1.2 million used vehicle sales, of which about 32% are financed. So for every new car sold, we typically see about 2.4 used cars being sold. The used vehicle sales compound a annual growth rate has been about 3.8% over the last nine years and about 1.7% over the last five years. So used vehicle sales have been growing, driven by the economic environment, which has been worsened by COVID, and new vehicle price increases, which is driven by a depreciating RAND. As such, new vehicle sales have reduced year on year since about 2013, and used vehicle sales have increased year on year for uh, over 10 years. Farn, maybe you can provide us with a little bit of context where we buy cars fits in this very large and resilient market. Yes, David, as you explained, the, the market is really big um, and it's very fragmented. We're sitting with a car pool of more than 10 million vehicles that are on the roads with more or less 1.2 million vehicles changing hands annually. So there are many players uh, competing in different ways in this market. We mainly have two models. The first model is stockholders. These are typically your um, dealer groups, your independent dealers, and even your smaller dealers, all the way down to um, startups and individual dealers. Um, they become the stockholder, they pay for the vehicle, and then they sell them. Then you have your non-stockholders. These are the platforms and the marketplaces that exist out there that facilitate sales and where vehicles are being advertised. With We Buy Cars, we have created a hybrid model and a unique business model where we do become uh, the this, this, this stockholder by making a fair offer, offering immediate cash on vehicles. But then we differentiate ourselves by having various sales channels, which includes these huge car supermarkets that we have, but we always also have a very strong online presence with e-commerce capability. As, as at this moment, we sell more or less 25% of our vehicles online. So looking at the global peers, um, although our business is quite unique, we benchmark ourselves against these international players. In recent years, we have traveled abroad, attending international conferences, trade shows, as well as some of these individual businesses, learning a lot from them. The most uh, comparable here would be then CarMax, Carvana, and Vroom that we would like to benchmark ourselves against. And I invite the analysts to have a look at these companies. Yeah, that's actually what we did. If you take a look at this slide, uh, what made TC really excited about this investment is that We Buy Cars stacks up very well against comparable international peers. 
Profitability surpasses comparable peers, supported by very efficient inventory management and effective advertising spend. Uh, as Farn said, we felt that Room Carvana and CarMax were the most relevant and comparable peers. Farn's spoken a lot about uh, e-commerce already, and this slide provides some context regarding the local e-commerce market. It's estimated that e-commerce adoption in South Africa has leapfrogged some five years due to COVID-19, with significant opportunity for e-commerce disruption. South Africa reflects an increasing trend of universal e-commerce adoption, with a growing number of e-commerce participants in South Africa across various sectors and asset classes. We Buy Cars is really well placed to grow its e-commerce activities as we, as we have first mover advantage in the used vehicle e-commerce market. We've got an established B2B e-commerce platform, including vehicle dealerships. We've got an early stage B2C e-commerce activities already commenced. And we have a trusted brand which facilitates peace of mind transacting with almost 30% of our sales happening online. Thank you all for listening. Until I see you again, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay productive.